Right, so welcome to our next episode. Today we're going to be doing a special decor paint. This particular product is from Ashek, and um, it's a nice silky smooth water-based decor paint. And it's excellent for melamine, wood, um, plastic, and fabric. What's really super about the product is you don't need to use any primer, and you don't need to sand. So what we're going to be doing today is this particular table here. Um, you would normally throw away this table because of the condition of what it looks like. But I'm all about reusing, recycling things to put in your house. And this paint suits that particular purpose by allowing us to refurbish this particular table, cupboard and cabinet. And um, we're going to be using a couple of products today. I'm going to go over them. So, we're going to need a mouse sander here to sand down this particular table. Even though, like I said, it's not required to sand, but this particular table has got a couple of layers on it, so therefore we have to sand. We're going to be using some special brushes here, specialist brush, fiberglass brush from Hamilton. I've got a 75 mil here and a 50 mil brush. And they're just excellent for glues, resins, varnish, and in our particular case, a decor paint. Really good for crafts, nice smooth bristle, really great. And we're going to finish it off once we've painted this particular table with a spray seal, water-based sealer here from Ashek, which is normally used for um, spraying on concrete to allow less penetration of water through the brick. But it also works excellent on this particular finish that we want to do. And I want to show you that. So we're going to be doing something unorthodox with this particular product, but it works really great. It takes a lot of that time away from normal conventional varnishing. So like I say, it's a water-based paint, this Cameo paint from Ashek. And we're going to go ahead now and sand our table, and then we're going to show you how to paint. So the next step is to sand the table. We're going to be using this mouse sander to sand the table because we've got a, a lot of layers of paint that have been on you, and we need to level that out. It's not normally required with this particular paint, but the reason why we have to do that is, like I said, it's not 100% level the table and therefore we're going to lightly sand it and then show you the next step. Right, so now that we've lightly sanded the table with our mouse sander, our next step is to stir the paint. So I've gone ahead and stirred our paint. We're using, like I said, this Asia Cameo paint, decor paint. So we're going to be using our 75ml Hamilton brush fiberglass. And the reason why I'm using that is because we're going to be doing a whitewash effect today on this table. So basically, we're going to remove that lip and we're going to go ahead and paint the table. So we want a little bit of a sort of a bit of a rustic sort of effect going on the table. You'll see that this paint is super smooth. The fact that it's priming so nicely, it goes straight on without that primer. Um, really, really great. So I'm arching my brush and I'm basically covering up the table of all the paints that have been previously put on the table and it's just going on nice and smooth. So I'm going to go ahead now and paint this table, this cabinet and this uh, cupboard and then we're going to show you the next effect. Right, so we're at our next step and our next step is to whitewash. So we've used this Cameo Decor paint as our first coat on all the furniture except this one. I've already gone ahead and I've whitewashed this particular cabinet. You'll see I've done it on the top here and on the sides here. And that just gives that rustic, sort of authentic look that we're looking for in this particular room. So now I'm going to show you how to do whitewashing on this table over here. And so it's very important to keep your brush very, very, you'll see there on the, on the tip of my brush, I've just lightly dotted the paint on the top. And the reason for that is we don't want too much paint on and then we're going to have too much of a spot. And then it's important to do a nice long stroke. And you'll see that that gives you that nice whitewashy effect. Some people believe in diluting the paint. You're more than welcome to do that. But in this particular case, it's such a lovely sort of decor paint. And as it hits the surface and you have any low, sort of higher spots, what will actually happen is the paint will catch those higher spots and you just carry on doing that going up and down so they're spreading the paint and getting that whitewash effect so 
we're just gonna do that I'm gonna do that to the whole table and then I'm gonna show you the before and after picture right so now that we've de-stressed the table and the cabinet um, our next process is to seal it and we're going to be using this product spray seal from ASHAC. Um, it's normally used on a concrete wall to eliminate water coming into the wall but I find it works great on wood too so we're doing something a little bit unorthodox today but it works really really good and when it dries it dries natural doesn't take away that authentic look that we were looking for and um, we're going to go ahead and do that and show you how to do it so basically on the bottle here it'll say off and it'll say spray turn it to the spray nozzle and then basically all that you really do is you just go ahead and spray and that's what's super about it and that will seal it in just in case we put a coffee cup on or something like that we don't want it to ruin our paint job so we're going to just seal in our paint job with that now I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to show you the before and after picture we hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, we'll be, be with you with another episode shortly.